I had to leave yesterday. Got some things I had to take care of at home. Lovely. Yeah. Had to change the uh, mixing valve for my shower. Super fun. Yeah, lots of things in that house were not done right. But, anyways, that's neither here nor there. We're moving more dirt today. Um, I'm gonna spread this one out. Yeah, we're for sure gonna be climbing up a little bit here. Move this on down there. Look at all the rocks and stuff. Like, oh my goodness, it's brutal. I see asphalt down there too, I believe. Oh, big rocks. That's what it is. Lovely garbage beer cans. Ugh. There's a freaking garbage can in the bottom of that ditch there at the bottom of this. Driving me nuts. Yeah, so a lot of dirt to move. You can see something was trailing through there. I know there's a bunch of bear crap over where these piles were. Definitely have to get my transit over here to shoot some grays, but I can tell you right now I'm standing just a pinch higher than the road. But that cul-de-sac climbs up dramatically. So if I look directly across, I'm probably a little bit lower than the road. Anyways, I'm piling most of it up anyway. It is topsoil, so that's what we're going to do. Moving dirt. Let's get at it. And so, we got this thing all greased up, ready to roll. Should put this on the other side. Yeah, I think that's a better view, I think. Got a fresh coffee here, in a t-shirt, beautiful, beautiful weather out. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's an alright brew. <laughs> Yeah, so basically you're just trying to flatten all this crap out, prepping, uh, prepping lots for the spring. Alright, cutter greased. Actually, I had to put a bit of cooling in this thing. Not burning it or anything, it just it was like that from the day I got it. I've been meaning to do that for over a year. For, uh, let me see. 270 hours. Right. Definitely going to be getting into building a retaining wall on this uh, on this site, separating us from the house inside. Oh, look at that, that's almost soily stuff too. Wow. I'm gonna have quite a, quite a pile of soil. It's kind of sandy though. Kind of like a Heinz 57. Top little bit of that should be soily. Yeah.
freaking dump site, but you know, I don't mind the soily stuff because I can turn this into really, really expensive topsoil. I kind of figured this was mostly uh, soily material. First time I'm touching these piles though. We've been here for quite some time. Yeah. Have quite the pile of soil.
Oh, wow. Quite the pile of topsoil. I dug this out because we might see some uh, some rain. Obviously, I had to come through here and flatten it out, but I'm going to do that right now. It's not until midweek we're going to see rain. Because I'm talking about all the garbage. Look at all this soil in here. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. Straight up clay based. This is just three and a half hours of piling this up. That is like 25 feet tall. This is just a pile of boulders I ripped out and a piece of culvert. Oh! Yeah, that is just a massive, massive pile of topsoil. No doubt in my mind there's easily $40,000 sitting there. Topsoil is $35 a yard right now. And depending on where you get it, the cheapest I found it was $30. And that's because I, I'm going to need a lot of it. And I know the guy. I've known him for years and years and years. But I still got quite a few piles to go through. I'm, I'm, I'm betting you there's a hundred grand of topsoil sitting on these uh, sitting on these three lots here. It's uh, it's crazy. Cause that's not all what I moved over here. I went through a bunch of the piles that have been sitting here since forever. I mean, obviously a lot of them are going to be just garbage. You know, I see asphalt chunks in this one garbage rocks but you never know i might start digging into that and find a bunch of topsoil it's exciting i know there's top, lots of good topsoil on that pile that's one of the ones i brought here there's still all this like it's look how chunky it is look at that that's just beautiful clay based topsoil that's what you want you want a nice solid clump like that, but then you want it to break apart like that. That is perfect topsoil. Like, perfect. The only thing that make this better would be to test the pH levels in it. Oh, that's just beautiful. That's awesome. I'm excited about topsoil. I'm serious. I may have to get into topsoil. Yeah. I'm thinking... I think without a doubt. And my uh, friend, soon to be partner, has a property, like, it, like I was mentioning, a property on the North Highway. I will be venturing up there next spring to see what, uh, what kind of gold pile he's sitting on. But anyways. Look at the size of that freaking pile. That's nice. That is so nice. Anyways, I'm headed out here. I'm gonna go get a fresh cup of coffee. Oh, gross. Fresh cup of coffee, and then I'm going to head on uh, head on home. Take care. God bless. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. Back over to Perut. Let's get these funnings done.